Hey, attention crypto gossipators, things are about to get interesting. Remember, not financial advice. Hey guys, what is up? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone's having an amazing day because I am as usual. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So here we are with a book of meme, a boom. Everybody is expecting to change their lives with these type of investments. As we know it, you know, not long ago, Boehm has shown the world what it can do and it can do a lot. So in two days, got listed by Binance, all the big exchanges went in. The big exchanges are still holding a lot of Boehm. But having said that all, right, you're probably thinking, well, are you going to tell us right now whether it's going to go 100x, 1000x, absolutely parabolic? Well, yes, it is going to go up. But on top of it, yeah, there is something that is going on that people just really do fascinate me sometimes. And that is basically, right, I'm going to keep it very simple here, is this, right? These type of, of dips, and that kind of creates this FUD and people start panicking. People are too freaking emotional. Do you realize that you're in here to make money? You have the backing of the biggest, biggest influences within the crypto market. I'm talking about these massive exchanges, whales, right? We have about, you know, 70K holders, right? Um, book of meme. Supply isn't that that massive when you compare it to like, for example, Shiba Inu. So there's a lot of potential to actually move it, to pump it. It could go to a dollar, it could 10x, 50x um, market cap. Guys, if you think about it, as I've said in every single video, Dogecoin, last bull run does 80 billion market cap. We're at 60, 100 million. We have so much room to move. Yet people decide to be emotional about these things. They're like, oh my God, bone has dropped. It dropped 10% today. And they want reasons for everything. Now, first of all, you shouldn't even be investing if you are so emotional. What are you here? Just chasing candles? Are you just gambling all the time? Or do you not understand the significance of patience? The only thing that is going to be making you money is patience. Yeah, I know when I, when I open a chart like this, any investor is going to be like, oh, okay, I wish I could have gotten here, right? got in here and I would have cashed out here. First of all, you would have never known, right? Because getting in here is pretty much like getting in into any meme coin and cashing out here, well, you wouldn't have known that either, right? Because if you had your uh, take profit, um, you know, placed, maybe you would have placed it at 5x or whatever or 2x. And on top of it, guys, you wouldn't have known and maybe it would have gone through the roof. So you maybe a lot of a lot of the investors actually cashed out over here or they cashed out over here. Nobody knows exactly where is it going to stop, where is it going to peak and then go down. But the most important thing, which which you guys should start understanding if you're getting very emotional about this and you're writing to me, well, OK, it's gone down. Look at it. It's consolidated. If this was rubbish, if it was done, if it was over for it, right, if it was complete trash then it would have just dropped and we wouldn't have seen anything. We would never have recovered. But guess what? Here there's, there is a lot of support, right? There's support for a reason. Yes, it's bouncing up and down in these small ranges, which is very normal, healthy crypto activity. But in general, ladies and gentlemen, you got to start understanding the real, real way of investing. You put the money in, you wait for the big event, it goes up and then you take your profits. OK, and those that start chasing the candles, you're selling your bone to those that are chasing these candles when it starts going up because they're trying to, you know, catch the wave. We have no reason to be catching any waves here because we are already invested into this. Right. It's all automatic. We already know what is going to happen. The out season's coming in. Bitcoin halving six, 12 months later on. This thing is going just berserk, just insanely high. It's worth one cent. People, influencers, investors are talking about one dollar. Can it do one cent, one dollar? Can it? Can it? Well, I'm saying from one cent to one dollar. Can it do it? Can you? Can it do it like a hundred x? Of course. Why not? Sixty billion, ladies and gentlemen. When you are backed by some of the biggest uh, exchanges, isn't that much? Okay. 
We've got burning mechanism happening. We've got on social media, it trending everywhere. Even myself, I mean, it caught my attention. That's why I'm talking about it. I didn't know what Bohm was. I didn't know what, what Book of Meme was. I had no, I had no idea about it. But guess what? Started doing some research, started realizing that it's got a backing of, of some big names. We know that a lot of whales are going to be coming in. Sounds pretty good to me. I want to be where the smart money is. I don't want to get emotional. Oh my God, it dropped, it dropped by 10%. Oh, I should be selling out. Well, listen, if you have this type of mentality, if you genuinely believe that all the cryptos just go up and up and they never drop at all, not even 1% down, well, I think you're living in some dreamland. Like open your eyes and start understanding, you know, what, what these cryptos are all about. And you know what? You, you want me to give you a reason why, why it dropped, right? So I'm going to pull out the 24-hour chart since some of you have this crazy obsession at looking at these smart charts, which in my uh, opinion are absolute poison. I'm sorry to say that, but they're absolute poison. If nothing is happening in the, in the market, no big events, and you're just looking at these 24-hour uh, charts, it is going to drive you wild. It is going to drive you mental. Because when nothing big is happening, it could be just whales taking their profits. Someone just took their profits before the Bitcoin halving because many people also believe that this could be a situation of, you know, uh, buy the rumor, sell the news. So when the Bitcoin halving hits that first day, everything drops down. There's a possibility, right? And then slowly, gradually goes up. So many Many um, people out there could be just doing this, right? So they have made their profit. They're sitting on their profits, uh, knowing that the market is probably going to crash on that day. There's a possibility of that, right? Nobody knows 100% of the future. If it crashes down, they sold now. They took their profits, and then they just buy up the dip, and they're back in and strong, okay? Everybody's got their strategy. People are not leaving bone because it has nothing behind it. It has. It has stabilized itself. Look at this. Top meme tokens by market capitalization. 59, right? 59 billion. We are in the meme era. This is the period of time that everybody's talking about the memes. Where's the money going? It's going into the meme coins. It's true, right? I'm going to pull up this chart. Look at this. Meme coin, ranked number one, the biggest crypto narrative, 1,312%. The second biggest crypto narrative, RWA, is six times less than this. Five to six times less. Do you understand that every sophisticated investor right now has their categories lined up on their Excels, right? And they're investing into their categories. And when you look down into the meme category, you're making, I don't know, five to 10 investments, I imagine, Book of meme hits the top 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's in the top 10. So that means it's, you know, there's less risk because there's so much money in there. The market cap is too large for it to just drop. And on top of it, ladies and gentlemen, this has, this has a lot of room still to grow. Because, you know, when we look at the meme coins, who are we always comparing to? It's the two big boys that have been around for the longest. Dog with, uh, with hat is recent. Pepe is quite recent. Flo well, Bonk, Book of Meme. Flocky's been around. But the point that I'm trying to make here is that this is the season for the meme season. So if you are freaking out because you're seeing the red, this is, this is celebration time. When I wake up and I see red in front of my screen, I'm like, bye, 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 bye. I got to be buying. Not buy, buy this way, but buy, buy, come to me, bought, purchase. This is the, this is how you make money. You make money from the red, not from the green. Okay. So either way, you know, I'm obviously rambling here. I'm going all, all, all crazy, but hopefully this kind of serves as a bit of a lesson that emotions should be put to the side. And what you need to go in is with a plan with rational thinking, if, and also with a vision, what is happening in 2024? We are in the most exciting time. Everybody's going to be talking about us. The biggest news channels, Elon Musk is going to be tweeting because he loves meme coins. You know, his beloved Dogecoin is going to be doing crazy. When he tweets about Dogecoin, guess what? All this starts going up as well, and everybody starts looking into meme coins. So guess what? Money's to be made.
and I'm going to be making a lot of that money. So make sure that you uh, subscribe, turn that notifications bell on. I'm going to be covering a lot of these meme coins, very interesting stuff. And as usual, guys, a big thank you to everyone. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.